Sup everyone, so Side Game just released the Summon Showcase for Christmas. So let's get at it. As y'all know, it is the water event. And there is a High Fire Dragon coming out. Not, not High Merc, but High Brutilda. Anyways, let's just go into this. Let's look at the adventurers. Cleo, Dagger type, support. Skills. So the first skill does inflicts freeze. Does damage and increase energy levels for phase one. For phase two, instead of energy level, it seems to be strength. And then for phase three, it's critical rate. So it's kind of a mix of Halloween LA and using the energy levels um, from like the singers in the past manner. So the second skill is deal water damage. Not bad, not bad. So let's look at the abilities: HP seventy percent and strength thirteen percent. Stun resist and thirty hits. Uh, equal energy level up. So, I mean, these are pretty good. Um, 30 hits probably isn't hard for a dagger user. I don't use daggers that often, so I can't really say for sure. But this one's pretty good. And then I guess stun resist. Um, we'll have to see. I don't know what we're going to need stun resist for so far besides IO. And the second. Okay, so the next two adventures are four stars. And yet again, Nefaria is a bow user. Support bow user. And her skills are deal enemy in the line, damage in the line, and she have um, preparing gifts. So just kind of like casting a skill, except you're an archer casting it because you're you're doing a four strike and then hitting the area, and then nearby allies get a shield, right? So when you do a four strike, and then it allows them to get a shield, which is like a Hildegarde shield, and it also increases their energy levels. Skills. Abilities skill damage 25% burn resist. So I guess you can use this for a high Brihilda and flurry freezer, which is pretty interesting because it's a straight-up passive doing a 15 hit combo you get a buff to inf To inflict freeze by 10% Next we have Xander a wand user not a staff. I was hoping for a staff just you know for the heck of it But you know what kind of king supports man? Everyone should be supporting the king right king star fall will put a smile on faces of all his subjects Attack unit, nice. All right, so most his skills, his skills deal water damage to target and nearby enemies and inflict freeze. So it's like kind of a lily thing. <laughs> Increases the users and nearby allies by fifteen percent strength for ten seconds and increase their energy level. Wow. Okay, a lot of these energy levels. Pretty good. Pretty good. Strikers energy. Two increases energy level by two stages for every three enemies defeated with four strikes. So, <laughs> if you can somehow do four strikes, then yeah, I mean, wands with four strike is eh, okay. Sun resist, so you can probably use this for high Brutilda, and then skill haste five percent. Pretty good, pretty good. I mean, just four stars. And here we got the dragon, Water John. And you, what? Before we go, this. The freaking skill, the passive skill is ridiculous. It gives 45% and 45% stream and 20% hit crit rate. That's 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 so good. That's like that's like Cupid, but but like that 20% is into the passive instead of being active. Anyway, let's go back to the skills themselves. Frost beam, deal with enemies line and inflict freeze. So I mean not an AoE like um the the light version, but still pretty good it fixed freeze not bad and then we have these worm prints all right 70% defense 70% for HP and gives you 10% defense which is pretty good and healing debuff so this is pretty much for healers and it seems pretty good since if you're a healer you should pretty much be at pretty high HP because you have the range and stuff and of course this is gonna go to this Holloway holiday cheer is gonna go away anyways by the time the event is over uh, let's see, critical hit rate. So we have the next one, Prince of Dragon Yule. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Critical hit rate, 15%. Water, Fleury de Devastation, 10%. So this is pretty good for Dagger. Oh man, these one are pretty good, to be honest, though. Ooh, nice. All right, so anyways. Now let's go and go over the Side Game Fest 2018. Um, so there's a summary down here. Which means Hyper Hilda is actually going to be stronger than High Mid. So good luck to us all. 
Um, I know I struggle still sometimes, but I'm still at least able to do consistently with Vanessa right now. Hopefully I get a five-star unit to help out with this. I mean, I do have Zanefried, so that, that is the thing. So login bonus through New Year's, uh, 1500. So I guess um, they're resetting that. And then, oh no, no, the next, the second, third one is the co-op reset. So remember in the beginning, um, if you were to co-op with like random people, you get Wormites as well. And then nowadays you just get mana. So they're resetting that, so we can do it all again. More Wormites, all right. And then yeah, so the New Year's uh, bonus is pretty much like the winter bonus that we recently got. So chapter seven, release. Post summoning results will mark dragons. Not sure what that means, but if we just kind of scroll down, people are saying like, sounds like they're just adding a mark to the dragon so you, you, they know, you know they're not adventurers. Um, I guess it's nice since um, Lucretia was pretty big and I thought it was a dragon, but apparently not. Doesn't have a tail. So <laughs> there is that dark dragon that, uh, that was data mine that has a tail, so definitely a dragon. Anyway, besides the point, Spear getting an auto attack on an animation with super armor charge. And it goes further and has more hits. So Spear's getting super armor when doing that charge attack. So that that's pretty good. And Bow's getting attacked faster, further, so it's like a sniping thing. And charge attacks come out almost instant. Ooh, I can't wait to play Bow, man. Can't wait. And then Guarantee five star character ticket. Nice. Merry Christmas to us all. Um, I think I think these changes are gonna be coming out tomorrow um, from this video. So, but yeah, so that's pretty much the summary of what updated in, within the last hour or so. Um, new event for Christmas, you know, all that shiznaz. And anyway, I do stream daily and 9 p.m. Pacific time Dragalia stuff. And then um, feel free to check out my Twitch during that time. Um, I should be leaving that link below and thanks for tuning in and uh, later days.